Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be talking about potential features Gaijin could add to the game in the near future. And, uh, you know, if you guys actually like these additions, you know, voice your opinions uh, to Gaijin because they do listen, especially now after the whole boycott. So make sure to join the Discord down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoy this content. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and uh, let's get into it. So, for our first pick, we got uh, multi crew aircraft. Now, this would include, you know, your normal fighter jets, um, maybe even bombers. That would be a little tough to do since, uh, I guess you could do bombers. One person can operate the guns on that. But uh, multi crew aircraft, at least in sim and in RB, could be very fun. Because just imagine this you're in your F 14 Tomcat, right? And uh, your buddy's able to check your six, he's been able to, you know, look around, he could lock people with the radar. And, you know, you can make two positions. You have the Rio and the Wizzo. So uh, the Rio, you know, like the F-14, you can actually press the button and launch the missile. The Rio can lock a target and launch a Phoenix. And I believe same with the AIM-7s. The only thing you can't lock and uh, launch is the AIM-7? No, he could do the, the AIM-9s. So I'm sorry. Excuse me. But yeah, wouldn't that be awesome? I mean, you could just, like, tell your buddy, hey, lock that guy up, hit him while you're keeping the aircraft or while you're focusing on trying to notch missiles or get to low altitudes and stuff like that. And I feel like this feature would definitely help when uh, War Thunder upgrades radar guided missiles to actually hit low flying targets because now you're going to have to learn how to defend properly. And if you have a Rio or a Wizzo, it's going to help a ton. Another area where it can help is let's say you hop in your F-14B and you're dropping GBUs in RP and you're trying to focus on, you know, lining the aircraft up and you're trying to focus on you know sam's launching at you and stuff your rio could just go use the t-pod and track the target while you dive on him now one thing i think guys should do is if they add a rio system they have to make it to where the other player needs the vehicle to use it because not only is that going to boost sales for gaijin it only makes sense i mean you don't want to just give some new player wizzo c and he can fly the jet automatically you know like, certain Wizzos and Rios can't fly, like the F-14 Rio can't fly, but the F-15E Wizzo can control the jet. There's certain things he can't do, though. But could you imagine how fun that would be? And the thing is, you don't even need to uh, give it, like, a... You could give it an incentive, like, maybe they get a quarter of a kill or they get a quarter of what you earn. You could possibly do that. But personally speaking, I would be a Wizzo or a Rio without getting paid at all. Especially in Sim, I would just do it for fun. I mean, I do it for fun in DCS. Um, if I could be like a Wizzo in like, uh, shoot, what, what's a jet they can add or a jet that we already have? I'm sure there's a jet we have in game that there's a Wizzo. I guess the A7E, the new premium or the event one, that would have a Wizzo in it. Um, maybe if they add the uh, event, an event A10 with the two-seater, you can do it that way. Um, or when you add the F-15E or the Su-34, and then jets like the F-14 Tomcat, they have those, you know, two seats. It's just perfect for that. And then uh, you can also do this with helicopters. Imagine you're an RB match or a helicopter sim, and you have a gunner while you're trying to look for missiles, you're trying to hide, you're trying to keep the helicopter stable while your gunner is communicating like, hey, stop here, I see a guy launching. And then you could sort of turn and communicate with him. I feel like that would be super awesome. And I would definitely be a gunner. Even just, like, if I'm not getting um, kills or money from it, I would definitely be a gunner because I'm blowing up tanks. I'm happy, you know? Uh, I feel like that'd be a really cool feature. And Gaijin could uh, still earn money from it because you need the aircraft to be a Wizza or a Rio. And, you know, you need to ha add the guy as a friend and confirm it. And then you both go in. You select rio or wizzo depending on the aircraft you both have that would be a super cool idea now i'm not sure how well gaijin's desync is but from what i could tell um in testing with the rio feature or discount rio feature i guess is going into a sim match as a spectator and i've made multiple videos on this of like how it could work and honestly when you have like a rio and sim it helps so much uh, obviously, you could cut down the visibility, make a, a backseat cockpit. That shouldn't take too long to make. Then, you know, you have your buddy in the back looking around, and uh, that would be awesome in Sim. He could tell you, hey, a missile's on our six, flare, flare, flare. He could call outs. I feel like that would be awesome. And not only that, 
um, can you imagine like two of your favorite content creators or something like that? Like they're both in a jet doing a video on uh, something like that. Like that would be cool, you know? Fly dailies like in a jet with I don't know some other content creator. They make a video about it. Like I feel like you could get some goofy moments with that. So maybe you know maybe guys will add it. I if you guys promote this stuff, they will definitely see it. And if they see that a lot of players like it, guys just gonna see the money signs and they're like, hey, let's do it because you know. Friends, two friends are going to be like, hey, I don't have the F-14, but you do. I want to be a Rio, so I'm going to grind the F-14. Maybe I'll buy a premium account to buy it quicker. You know what I mean? So that sort of stuff does help. And uh, again, helicopters with, uh, with uh, what you might call it, with a, a gunner, that would be, that'd be kind of fun. That would be really fun because then you could get a ton of kills. You can actually focus on not getting shot down by, like, Sams and stuff. And you could get a decent amount of kills in a tank battle. Um, but, yeah, tell me what you guys think about that in the comments down below. Another feature they can add is also helicopters. Now, this is more oriented towards Sim. But um, I wish Gaijin would create a new game mode, right? I wish they would create an EC where there's all assets. Maybe the only limiting asset they limit is ships, right? But could you imagine an EC where you can have tanks, you can have jets, and you can have helicopters. Helicopters spawn on little FARPs, which are frontline airfields, basically. You know, you take off on a road and uh, you burn to a high altitude. That sort of deal, right? Frontline FARPs. Um, also, that's another thing they can add. Frontline FARPs. You can take off with an A-10 or maybe attack aircraft on them. But you can also take off with helicopters on those. You know, you take off in an EC match with an Apache and you head in to hit some ground targets and you know you're calling for backup um, there's so many features Gaijin could add to make this game super awesome like super fun and uh, the most simple one would be to add helicopters to EC right if you don't want to change too much if you don't want to add tanks just add helicopters they used to be an EC so add helicopter spawns you can spawn in it takes a long time for helicopters to get anywhere too so it's not like they'd be overpowered. Maybe limit the Ka 50s payload or the uh, Chinese helicopter. I think the Z-19, I could be wrong, but limit its air-to-air -air payloads. And, um, you know, if you're a jet pilot and you know where a helicopter is, you're going to be able to kill him. So it's not like they're going to be overpowered or anything. SAMs are near airfields. They can't get close to those. And even um, ground targets, they have AAs near them, which are pretty accurate. And then, so I feel like, you know, that wouldn't be much of a problem and it would be another way to grind rp and it would i feel like it would saturate sim a little more because sim has a decent amount of players but a lot of the matches people just leave instantly after they die too much because it's so expensive but if you had helicopters in there just sprinkle in, sprinkle in a little bit of competition give them a low repair cost because they are helicopters and are not going to freak out or anything and uh it would also push people to buy premium helicopters now, I don't have the exact sales on how many premium helicopters Gaijin actually sells, but what, from what I could capitulate or determine is they don't sell as many as they would um, fixed-wing aircraft. That's just going off my general knowledge. Um, and if you add helicopters to EC, it gives people more of a reason to play helicopters in sim, uh, besides tank RB and all that. And plus, you can use helicopters instead of blowing up tanks in a sim match, uh, like player tanks and annoying the hell out of them. You can just blow up AI and farm, and maybe even shoot down a couple aircraft. I mean, that would be awesome. And then this coupled with the multi-crew, I mean, imagine if you you know, you know you hit your buddy up and you're like, Hey, let's go fly a hind together on um, this Tunisia map. Let's try to survive. Let's try not to get shot down. Let's fly low and stuff. Like DCS has um, servers like Enigma, Cold War. And you can do that. You can hop in high, low altitude, and just, you know, have a good time with your friend. And I feel like War Thunder lacks um, the team play aspect to the game. Like, a lot of the players don't seem really connected. You know, everyone's got, like, their friend they hop on War Thunder with. But I feel like this would connect the community more. You're, you hop in a game, you're like, oh, hey, this dude has um, a Ka-52. I have a Ka-52. Hit him up, be like, hey, let's hop in the same aircraft and uh, get a couple kills. You know, it could um, improve the teamwork of War Thunder. And there's some other features that I wanted to talk about, but I think I'm going to talk about them in another video. This video is already 10 minutes. So tell me what you guys think about this in the comments down below. 
please push these ideas towards Gaijin if you do like them. If you don't, I understand. But if you like them, push them towards Gaijin because they see this stuff. That's how we have modern jets. The reason we got supersonic jets was because people wanted them so bad. Gaijin blatantly stated they're not going to add supersonic jets. Now we have an F-16. So you see what I mean? So yeah, tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. Like, share, and uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video. Uh, we're on our way to 100,000 subs. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Anyway, take care and God bless.